What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown, I'm back with more Marvel Avengers Alliance, welcome to a brand new episode of Avengers Assemble, where I take a look at a brand new hero and I give you a kind of first impressions look at the character. Today we're having a look at, she's kind of hot, wouldn't want her rooting around in my head though, it's Emma Frost. I don't know if she had a code name, I really don't care. Cause that quote will never get old. Emma Frost, the second Spec Ops hero ever released, and the one that cemented and placed the task list for us. Because used to be, it used to be five star of the missions, and that was kind of a bitch. Back in the day. Born wealthy and privileged, Emma Frost didn't need her mutant powers to succeed in the world, but she still took advantage of them. Her telepathic powers won her an invitation to the notorious Hellfire Club, where she rose in rank to become the White Queen. That's racist. There she started... There she started a school for mutants and clashed with X-Men. With the X-Men. With her conscientious cir circulium. I don't know. After a tragedy killed most of her students, Emma decided that teaching for the Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters and joining the X-Men was a better use of her gifts. And somewhere along the line, she mutated again and got diamond skin. Yeah. Alright, so that said... <laughs> Let's have a look at Miss Frost, shall we? So, Emma is a tactician with high attack and defense, very low evasion though. And she gets diamond body, chance to predict the next attack, taking less damage. Like a lot less damage. Her abilities include the Psychic Tap, a one enemy ranged psychic ability. As it is a psychic attack, it ignores most avoidance, shield, counter, and protect effects, and applies mental anguish, an ability that has been a pain in my ass since this move was invented. Takes heavy damage after performing the next offensive action, removed after any action other than a quick action or free action. War Diamond, a one enemy melee unarmed with a two round cooldown. It has a 60% chance of applying stun. Unlock Potential, which now I have handy in a little head device that I carry with me, is a one ally buff with a two round cooldown. It is in fact a quick action. It applies Energize to all allies, restores stamina to all party members when used, and one ally gets Potential Unleashed. Raises all stats for one round, removes debuffs when applied. And finally, her uh, last ability is the name of one of my DCUO villains, Mental Trauma. All enemy attack, ranged psychic. Psychic attack and 70% chance to apply migraine. Reduces damage done on next attack. So yeah, she is definitely a psychic type ability that kind of specializes in, I would almost say, buff and debuff actions, but that's not to say she can't deal out damage on her own. It's just that the damage she does comes basically from her mental anguish or applying potential unleash on herself and following up with mental trauma. Because aside from that, she doesn't really have a combo like others do. She has abilities that could work together. She has a chance of stunning enemies. She can apply mental anguish on characters and mental trauma. But none of those can really be used together to make a powerful combo, which is what leads me to my belief. Now, is she bad? Uh, personally, not. She is a good uh, tactician, especially... Well, I wouldn't say especially in her Phoenix 5 outfit, but... Again, she's not terrible. But I do believe that the times have left her behind. As I say with most heroes, they're not bad. There's just been someone who can do their job better. But, I don't really know. I don't often use psychic type characters, mainly because a lot of the characters we face nowadays are robots or something like that. Especially after the last, last spec up. So, yeah, I don't know. It's just, I haven't used her that much. But, I, I tended to like her, like, when I used her a bunch. Uh, I obviously haven't used her in a long time, if her ISO8s are any indication. And her regular outfit is no better. But yeah, that's that's Emma Frost. So until next time guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta.